What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Colton. In today's video, we're going to be doing a raccoon trapping. We're going to be testing a theory of corn versus uh, dog food. Most hunters, when they put corn out, 95% of their pictures of are raccoons. And we're going to have a little competition. I'm going to have four of these dog proofs and Haley's going to have four of them. I'm going to set four in my location and she's going to set four of them. We're going to see which one of us can catch the most raccoons over this three day weekend. And we're going to see which bait can catch more, the corn or the dog food. So let's get to setting. Check day number one and nothing in this trap right here, nothing in that one. So we're gonna go check our other three, see if we have anything. It's only the first tonight, so I'm not sure if we're gonna have anything. But like I said in the intro, we got three days of this, so we got plenty of time. And nothing in that trap. Nothing even touched that one. Did you still see the dog food? So the dog food is 0-2. So. Now we're gonna go check the ones that have the two corn in it. See if then we have anything. Um one right here and nothing. There's a few old tracks there, but nothing in that one either. We got one more. This one has nothing as well. None of the corn was touched. So yeah, nothing in that one. So, I am 0 for 4. Now we're going to go check Haley's and see if she caught any. And like I said, we still got two more nights of this. So, we'll go see. Well, one of Haley's traps was knocked over. Ate every bit of the dog food out of it. So, we're going to have to rebait it up. Well, she had one knock it over. It's on a pretty good trail. So, I figured this would be a good spot. Try right under the cedar tree. So... We'll get some more uh, dog food and fill it back up, but we had one knocked over, so we know there's something here. Well, guys, we're here with check day number two. My my first trap right here, and unfortunately, we don't have anything again. But I'm gonna rebait it up with some dog food, and I got some uh, different raccoon lures in here that I'm gonna try and see if they catch anything. I'm gonna show you guys those real quick. I'm gonna sit you guys down. So one of them is this Hank, Hank Barker's raccoon lure. So I think I'm gonna use it for this one, just to see if it'll do anything. And yeah, I'm gonna refill it up with dog food and we'll get on to the next one. All right, so I'm at trap number two here. I didn't bring any pew pews to get rid of anything. And I have to walk past this trap to check my first one. So I've already seen what's in it. But I'm gonna show you guys what's in this and yeah, I gotta go let Haley know that uh, this one's gonna be fun to get out of the trap because I've never caught one of these things before. So, yeah, this is a first time catch for me and I'll show you guys what it is. So, we got a little skunk here. Like I said, I've never caught one of these before so it's a first catch for me. So, I'm gonna have to figure out how to dispatch this guy without getting sprayed. I know I've read, like I've watched Trapper J and Flair and all them, and you gotta shoot him in the lungs. So I have to go tell Haley that uh, I might have to have some help, but I'm not gonna try to get too close to where this guy sprays or anything, but he's just sitting right there. He's not hurt or nothing. He's just sitting there waiting for me to get him out, maybe. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go tell Haley and it's a first catch for me on a skunk the third trap here now this one had corn on it and nothing's even touched it right here so i'm going to put that same stuff i showed you that i'm going to put on that i put on the first trap see if it's gonna see if the strong wind that we have here it's gonna blow it around and see if we can get any raccoons to come in so i'm just gonna put some layer on that i'm gonna keep the corn on here to see because this challenge is to see if the dog food or corn is better so I'm just gonna lure it up and we'll get on to the next one. At the last trap of my four and same thing right here. This one I corned it as well. 
nothing in it, nothing even touched it. So like I did at the last one, I'm just gonna lure it up and hopefully the winds will blow the lure around and drop some raccoons in the night. So now we're gonna go check Kaylee's four and we're gonna figure out how we can get the skunk out of this dog proof because I've never caught one. So it's gonna be fun. All right, so we're at Haley's first trap here. And once again, day number two, it is knocked over again. I mean, there's a pretty nice trail that leads right into there, into those rocks right there. So I don't know what it could be, but I don't know. What do you guys think? It's knocked over twice. This is the one that has dog food in it and all the dog food's gone. So I have no idea what it could be. I don't see no tracks or nothing. So you guys leave it in the comments below what you guys think it is. We're just gonna rebait it up. See if we can catch it tonight because we got one more day. I might leave these up. I'm just checking before I go to work. But I don't know. We'll reset it up with dog food and that lure I showed you guys earlier. And we'll see if we can get it tonight. All right, y'all. It is check day number three. And we're back here checking the traps. We are. That was the spot yesterday with the skunk. We took that trap out because it ended up spraying all over the place. But. I came to check the very first one and look who we have right here. We have an old Ricky. So this one was in the dog food. So I've had a skunk in a dog food and a raccoon in the dog food. So nothing's touched the corn. So now since we had this raccoon, we are going to do some, I'm going to do a recipe that I saw from Mike DeMolt, man. He's, uh, he cooked a pretty good meal out of a raccoon. So I'm going to dispatch this guy and we're going to do a catch, clean and cook on this raccoon. So you guys stay tuned and I'm going to dispatch him and I'll show him after we get him dispatched. All right. I got to set right back up on this trail and you can see that they just walk down. They walk into here. They just keep on walking across the creek over there. I don't have any bait to rebate this right now. And if I get time this afternoon, I will come back and rebate this. But we got a couple more traps to check. And now we got to take this raccoon home and skin him up and make some good dinner. So we'll go check the other traps. So we're right here at the corn. Like I said, no raccoon. Any anything's even came and touched this. I don't know why. Usually during deer season, they... Usually during deer season, you know, all the raccoons are eating the corn and everything, and I don't know why it's so different in a dog proof, but I don't know. We're gonna, I'm gonna keep these out. I'll just come check them after work every day, see if we have anything. But we've already checked the other one right up here, and it's the same thing, it's not been touched. So, so far, I have a skunk and a raccoon in my traps, and Haley has nothing in hers, so I'm winning this competition, but never know. We gotta go check hers now, and We'll see if we have anything, so we'll check you on when we get to Haley's. Well, once again, Haley's trap is knocked over, and all the food's ate out of it. So, we're going to change traps on this one, maybe later this afternoon. And we're going to see if we're going to catch whatever keeps knocking this over, because it's not going to get away. So, we're just going to take this one out. Maybe this afternoon, we can come back out and reset some. So, yeah, we're going to take this little guy out, and we're going to put a different one in here. So, we'll I'll come back. If we come back this afternoon, I'll show you. But it might be tomorrow at the to work. So, this is three days in a row, and this just ain't gonna work out no more. All right, as you can tell, we're in the kitchen. I've got the raccoon all skinned out. We got it quartered up, and now we're gonna work on the recipe. We got three different spices we're gonna use. We're gonna use some barbecue rub by Meat Church, and then we are gonna use the Cajun Two Step. And then we're going to use another meat, ch meat church barbecue, which is the honey hog barbecue. And what we're going to do is we're just going to let this marinate overnight. We're going to put it in the crock pot. And tomorrow, we're just going to let it slow cook all day. And then tomorrow night, when it gets done, we're just going to spray barbecue sauce all over it. And then we'll have some pulled raccoon, I guess. So we're just going to stick it into the crock pot, and I'm going to put the spices on it. In the crock pot it goes. So I think my main one is going to be the honey hog. We're going to put that one on last. First one we'll put on 
is the Cajun two-step. Next one, the Holy Gospel Barbecue Rub by the Meat Church. We'll put that one on next. That's all. And the last one, like I said, it's going to be the main one. It's the Honey Hog. And we're just going to spread this one around in here. Now I'm just going to mix it all together. And now, we're just going to stick this in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight and we'll let it cook tomorrow on some on low. Alright, here is the finished product of the raccoon and we're going to do a taste test. So here's just a little piece of it. Looks pretty good. We're going to do a taste test. Now I'm going to rate it 1 out of 10. Honestly, it's not that bad. It kind of tastes like pulled pork. You wouldn't, if I could take this somewhere, and I wouldn't even know it was raccoon. I'd give this, out of all the raccoon I've ate, probably like a 9.3, 9.4. So, you guys really need to try some of this. It's pretty good. Really good. Alright guys, uh... I don't even know what check day we're on. We are going to pull these traps. I'm going to boil them up, get them all ready, and come back out here in February. Mid-February, going to get them all ready to where a coyote, I can catch a coyote too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my trap line. The coon was very good. I really liked it. Haley really liked it as well. So we might be doing that again sometime soon, but, uh, Hope you guys enjoyed. Go down and hit the like button. Go down and hit the subscribe button as well. We're going to be doing some more trap line videos here pretty soon. Sometime in February. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.